Hey Artland, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw a Japanese chin. Now, to start off with our Japanese chin, we're going to begin with their big eyes. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to draw a circle like this. And then I'm going to leave some space, and I'm going to draw another circle right over here, and you want to keep it about the same size. Now, inside these circles, I'm just going to make a little curved line like this, and then I'm going to do it on the opposite side right over here. Then I'm going to add a big circle and a little circle on each one. Then I'm just going to color in the area around those two circles. Now, starting right here, I'm going to make a little line that goes across. And then just a little line that goes down and then back up. Then right here, I'm going to make a little sad face for the top of the nose. And then right here, I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve up. It's going to go real close to the nose, then it's going to curve down, and then it's going to come right back around here. Then right here, I'm just going to make a little line that just kind of curves. And we'll draw a little line down for the tongue. Then right underneath here, I'm just going to add a little curve line. Now, starting up here, we want to make the ears. So I'm going to draw a line that just kind of curves down. It's going to kind of touch the eye, and then I'm just going to put a few kind of little pointy lines on here, because their ears are going to be really furry. Then I'm going to draw a line that's going to kind of curve back up. I'm going to put a few more of those little kind of pointy lines on here. Then I'm going to add just a few right around here, just to make them real furry. And then I want to do the same thing on this side. Just kind of go right down here, kind of touch the eye. Then you can kind of add a few of those kind of little furry pointy lines on here. Then bring it back up here. Put a few more like this. Then I'm just going to add a little line that's going to kind of curve across to connect them. Now, starting right here, we want to start on the body. So I'm going to draw a little line that goes down. I'm just going to put a few little kind of pointy lines on there to make it look like it's furry. Then I'm going to draw a line that goes down. A little line that's just going to kind of curve around. And then I'm going to just kind of bring it up, and I'm going to put a few kind of pointy lines on there. Then I'm going to put one here, draw a little line that goes down, a little line that curves around to here, and then I'm just going to bring it straight up. Then right here, I'm just going to make a little line that curves up. And then for their back leg, just make a little line that curves down, and then we'll make this line go down. little curved line for their paw, then a little line that goes up and in, and the one that kind of curves out here. Now Japanese chins have these really furry tails, so we're going to make this tail really big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this line up a little bit, and then right here I'm going to make some kind of pointy little lines that are kind of curving around here. Then I'm going to make a line that just kind of curves down and then up, down and up, and then just kind of curve it up and around. Then 
Then a couple little details that you can add on here. I'm gonna put a few little dots on each side of the cheeks. And then I'm gonna add a little pattern around here. So I'm gonna draw a little line, it's just gonna kinda of curve around and then it's just going to go up. It's gonna come back around and then it's just going to go right to here. And then if you want to, you can add a couple little lines onto the paws of your little Japanese chin. And then the last thing, let's add that back leg. So we're just gonna draw a line that goes down and then kind of at an angle and it's gonna come straight down. A little curve around here and then bring it up. And then you can add the little toes. And there you go, there is your drawing of a Japanese chin. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed.